Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to another part of Pokemon Fire Red. So last episode we wandered through Route 10 and now we are up here. There's a grass patch. Let's see what's inside by not pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, a Spearow. Nice. Don't need that actually, but nice. Good to know. Anything else of interest, maybe? The answer may surprise you. The answer is... It's another Spearow. Well, seems like it won't show itself. Tad bit annoying. Well, let's just move on. Because I just wanted to show off a Voltorb. That's the new Pokemon that we have in this area. Electric type Pokemon. Good to see you. Goodbye. Let's move on. So, we have a Pokemon Center down here. Let's make a quick stop here. Because it may be helpful. Hello. Yes, I would please would love to heal my Pokemon. Because we're gonna go through another tunnel. Which will, will be extraordinary annoying. Hope to see me again. I hope so not. Oh, Aaron, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides of Professor Oak. If your Pokédex has completed data on 20 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward from Professor Oak. He entrusted me with this Everstone. So, Aaron, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 20 kinds of Pokémon? The answer is sadly no. No. Oh. I see. When you get 20 kinds of Pokémon, Come back for the Everstone. I will. Because uh, before we end this whole thing off, I'm gonna get all the things from all the eight. But before that, there's a fight to be had. And a lot of fights to be had. I've been out at the ch Pokemon Gym. Oh, I've been out at the Pokemon Gym a few times. But I always last. Well, I've been to three and I won. Three. Maybe you should not challenge me. Pikachu! Okay. Well, let's karate chop that Pikachu in its crotch. I'm standing by it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna reverse what I just said. We're gonna stand by it. Clefairy? We're not gonna switch out here. That's gonna be an easy one. Karate chop! Okay. You're the center of attention. Good job there. You're dead. Don't know what the end game was there, but it didn't work out for you now, did it? Good. Good amount of HP. Uh, EXP, not HP. Well, also good amount. Oh, after all my training. Well, you shouldn't have conquered someone who conquered three arenas and won every time. A cherry berry. Berry pouch. Everything. Rock Tunnel, the Church to Lavender Town. So wait, the guy who can make my Pokemon forget moves is in Lavender Town if I'm not mistaken there. Am I? Well, we're gonna find that out. I'm gonna use Flash. And Nairobi, you are my only one who can learn Flash, so... Nairobi, how about... How about it? Um... Actually, I actually not wanna give away assets since it's the only thing that really can deal damage. I also wanna keep sleep power, but stun spores, I think I can live without them. So you gotta go and flash because we're gonna wanna see what's inside of this tunnel. And so, Nairobi, you're gonna learn flash for the time being. I promise you, however, that you're not gonna hold on to that move forever. We're gonna go to the guy who can make you... Forget moves to get that out of your system. But no, not the bag. We don't need the bag. Close the bag. Where are you, Nairobi? Let's flash! Boom! Now we can see where we're going. I rarely do see where I'm going in here. I mostly tend to just eyeball it through there. How did you, dude? How about I don't care about you and just move on? Also, since probably in here won't be anything interesting, I only have two repels. That's not gonna get us that far. Hi there, buddy. Pokemon fight. Ready? Go! 
Let's see what Pokemon he has. Oh. There's a Pokemon egg. Ashton. Let's see. A Cubone. I love it. Cubone is a great Pokemon. Sadly, however, Cubone, you're not gonna be part of my party here. I'm sorry. Ouch. No reason to throw with bones. I mean, I see why you're doing it. Still, no reason to throw bones. I want to say I'm fine, but I don't want to risk it at the same time. So let's heal Mr. Fluffer here. Lear, okay. I'm fine with that. It's the lesser evil. Even though you just lowered my defense. So that... Well... Yikes! Let's get right a chop you out of here. He was cutting it close. Too close. Slowpoke. Water Psychic, I guess. But water nonetheless. No Ruby! It's your turn. Dance! Hello there, Slowpoke. Let's absorb all of your life essence. <laughs> I really want to have the stone to evolve Nairobi. Still gonna take some time, but I really want to have the stone to evolve you, Nairobi. You're gonna get it. I promise you. Don't know when, but we're gonna get it. But before that, we're gonna get this level up. We're gonna... We're gonna drain the Slowpoke of all of its energy, which is, admittedly, not a lot. Really not a lot of energy there. Goodbye, Slowpoke. Thanks for the level up, however. You should provide good amounts of HP and defense if I'm not wrong. Let's see. HP and defense, yes. That was a good one. Thank you. Game over. Uh -huh. Yes, that surely was a game over. We need to heal. I need to buy more items as well. Mr. Fluffer, we could have done without that close call there. It was a little too nerve-wracking. That's fine. A repel! That's gonna help us, especially since we only have one head, one left. But let's move on. And up in here. Good! Moving on. I don't have rock crash, whatever it is. So, no interest. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Yet, however, I'm in this cave that is normally completely dark. And now for some odd reason is well lit. Huh, maybe I should write novels instead. Nanki, I need to switch you around. Nairobi, it's your turn. Let's see. Confusion, good thing I just switched out. Ouch, super effective, not a fan of that. Give me back my freaking HP, please. See, it's also super effective and I'll get it. HP back for it. What does your thing do for you? Right. It can potentially confuse me. Well, in the long run, yours would be better. Especially since it's stronger than my absorb. But whatever. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Just die. Please. I would appreciate it an awful lot. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Thank you. And goodbye, Slowpoke. Mr. Fluffer gets some, Nairobi gets some, and that's it. Goodbye, Winston. Oh, uh, phew. I'm exhausted. Normally, I only draw. Well, let's see what freaking else there is. Good, moving on. Anything over here? The answer is yes. Item. A revive. Good, now we have two, I think. Well, they will come in handy. I don't need them right now, but they will come in handy. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. Don't know what one thing has to do with the other, but sure, why not? Let's pick. Let's fight against Picnic and Martha. Oddish. Yeah, that's that's something. <laughs> that surely is oddish. Get chop that oddish. Not very effective. We need better attacks from Mr. Fluffer. ASAP. Mr. Fluffer only has fight type attacks. Mr. Fluffer, you need better attacks. You need a bigger variety of types because 
quite frankly, it's a little bit tedious to train you up right now since you don't really have any advantages over the opponents. Goodbye, Ordish. Except for maybe normal type and rock type. And steel. But still. Bulbasaur, we're not gonna switch it out. Since you only have grass type Pokemon, Luther will be your opponent. Goodbye, Bulbasaur. I still love you. You have survived. But you're burning. I mean, I can take it, I guess. But still, Bulbasaur, I'm sorry, you have to go. Goodbye. I still love Bulbasaur. Even if it's the weakest of the three starter Pokemon, I really love Bulbasaur. And... That's it for Martha. Oh, I lost. Whoopsie daisy. Goodbye, Martha. No, I forgot about the poison. Please. Don't tell me. It's not good. Paralyzes, let's wake up. Cure poison. Let's use that. Good, I still have berries. They really come in handy. Hi there, buddy. Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? If not, I'm wearing one from head to toes. You know what Pokemon I'm trying to resemble? <laughs> That's right. It's a Turtoise. Blastoise. Blastoise. I don't know. Sorry, I, I goofed that. Just. Karate chop the Charmander and get the level up. Whew! I mean, that didn't save the choke, but whatever. And... That level up was not so good. Seismic Toss! Yes, please. That's why we didn't... We gonna give away Low Kick, since Low Kick and Seismic Toss basically have kind of the same effect with... Low kick does damage equal to the weight of the Pokemon, or depending on the weight of the Pokemon. Where um, high toss, I didn't. See, uh, seismic toss does damage equal to the level that I have, so it would be 26 at the moment. Let's see how much damage that would deal. A good bit. A good bit, and it only will grow stronger, which is a good thing for us. And throw you into the ground one more time, please. So dang close. So, so close on me. And let's scratch you. Perfect. So, how far are we? Steve? Well, that's that. It is, Steve. It sure is. I wanna get out of here, Steve. Do you potentially know where and how I could get out of here? Hello there. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying for more entertaining fun facts about jellyfish. Because I only have rock type Pokemon. My brain's wandering off today. I'm super sorry if my commentary doesn't make any sense. And there's something loud going on in the background. I'm also sorry for that. And Seismic Toss, since that seems to do more damage than Karate Chop. Stay. Okay, Nero, we please deal with that freaking a hole of a Geodude. Thank you. Of all the things, Magnitude had to reach level 10. I give. You're a better technician. Thank you. You freaking killed my... You killed Mr. Fluffers. That's not nice of you. Mr. Fluffer, come on. It's okay. Wake up. Oh, boy. That wasn't annoying. It was... Mm. And my repels effect were off. I have one more. Good. Moving on. Hi there. I still want to fight against you as well. Hit me with your best shot. 
Hit me with your best jump. Good. Now that that's out of the system as well, what do you have? A Machop. Okay, it only has level 20. We should be stronger than his Machop. Question is if that works the way we want it to, but still, we should be stronger than his Machop. Seismic toss your bunch. Boom. And one scratch, and you should be done. I'm so close, so close to just call it quits. <laughs> no, we're not gonna switch out the Pokemon. The Seismic Toss should deal with that nicely in one swing. Never mind. Let's heal you, however, because that building is annoying me. Reach, okay, you missed, you fool. One more seismic toss and you're done! Potentially, you used Harvey. Nope, you're done, good for me. <sighs> Game's really trying to, sorry I skipped your dialogue there. Goodbye! I'll raise my Pokemon to beat your, your skit. I guess that's the total plan here. Let's fight against you as well. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. It sure does. I really would wish to be outside of this tunnel, but... Alas, I'm still in here, fighting against you guys. Level 19. Not the strongest Pokemon, but with my luck I will die to it. Let's see if I'm correct. Defense Curl, you are probably dead. And let's smash. Boom, and good. I'm apprehensive about celebrating too soon right now. Hello, you, dude. The only good thing here is we have an advantage now against them. All I really wish for now is to not die. Rock throw. You missed, you fool. You buffoon missed me. And scratch. Wonderful. And do we get the level up with you or with... No, we get it with him. Wonderful. Nice, a little bit of a tech up. Then another Geodude. Who would have carfunkled? Let's get rid of you as well. Since there's nothing special with you, let's just get rid of you. Defense Curl won't help you. Didn't help anyone else till this far. Won't help you as well. Fabouche. Goodbye. Wonderful. Uh, Seismic Toss even got stronger with the level up as well, which is good. And a Machop. This might become a dangerous fight. Karate Chop. That's a good one. Seismic Toss. And. Yep, yours weaker. Karate Chop you. Goodbye. I want to say thank you for everyone who. Spent their Pokemon's life for me. Duh, you win. I do win. I do win. Anything else? Yeah, there you are. Let's fight against you as well. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. But maybe you are lost in here with me. And that may be yet your biggest downfall. <laughs> okay, I really need to be stronger so that my seismic toss deals a lot more damage. Well, this will come naturally with playing the game. Come on! Don't screech at me, it's annoying, it's too high pitched, I don't like it, no screeching. Go down please, I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike. My brain really is not working that well right now, but whatever. I wanna get through the tunnel now, please. Perfect! Critical hit, we didn't have to goof around too long with this Geo dude. And... Another Onyx. Okay. Well, we're gonna use Seismic Toss for this, since... It helped a bit more. And it got stronger since the last Onyx, so whoop. 
the freaking do. Ouch. It's not very effective, but it still hurts. If not my body, it still hurts. In here. Good. We need one more fight to level you up. Ease up! What am I doing? Which way is out? Well, it's not that confusing, buddy. You basically only have to follow the way and take the ladders. That's all there is to it. It's not that confusing, really. What's in here? Escape rope! Is yes, I need to... Fuck off! Outside? Outsiders like you need to show me some respect! Why? What kind of stupid and strange rule is that? And what do you mean with outsiders? Do you mean outsiders like you live in this freaking cave? Or what? I'm not completely catching what you mean here. Explain yourself! I was like, if they get magnitude 10 again, I'm so done with this game today. And crush. Excellent. And the level up, please. Thank you. Level 28. Thereby, Mr. Fluffers now is my strongest party member with level. And the Graveler. Ooh, that may... That may backfire on me. Let's seismic toss you. It may backfire on us. Mud sport, I'm okay with that. Use that as much as you want. Use it a few times more. I don't get by... The stone, the, the ground type Pokemon at that have the attack mud sport, which doesn't do anything good for them. But thank you anyway. Phew! I give up! Well, now you need to show me respect for that as well. Congratulations, young Mr. Fluffers evolved into Primeape! Mr. Fluffer is trying to learn Rage, but Mr. Fluffer can learn more than four moves. Do you need a move to make room for Rage? Yes, please! We're gonna... We're gonna get rid of Scratch, we're gonna keep Focus Energy. We don't use Scratch anyway, let's learn Rage! Good, now we have this. Also, Pokedex time! It is recognized by its rock hard hide and its extended horn. Be careful with the horn as it contains venom. Its pistols ex exude an incredible fall odor. The horrid stench can cause fainting at a distance of 1.25 miles. It bursts through the ground at a shallow depth. It leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. It is always outrageously furious. If it gives chase, it will tenaciously track the target no matter how far. So, those were all the Pokedex entries that we have not yet looked at. And Repel's effect wore off, congratulations on me there. We don't have another Repel, so this is gonna take a long time. Well, whatever, we're gonna go the rest of this cave in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that and hope to see all of you to the next part of Pokemon Fire Red. So, bye!